In the past, the most advanced spacecraft in the world was NASA's space shuttle. It could stay in space for up to 18 days. But now, in 2025, that record has been broken. A private space mission has gone beyond that time. It is called Axiom Mission 4. It used SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule, and it stayed in space for 19 days. This shows that space technology has moved forward. The Crew Dragon capsule is more advanced than the space shuttle in many ways. NASA's shuttle had to carry all the food, water, and oxygen it needed. Crew Dragon is different. It uses smart systems to reuse supplies and save space. It can even switch to low power mode to save energy and turn back on when needed. This makes it more efficient and able to stay in space longer. Axiom Mission 4 showed that private companies can now build advanced spacecraft. It launched on June 25, 2025, with three astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary, each being the first from their country to reach the International Space Station. This mission was about staying longer in space and using advanced spacecraft systems. Most space shuttle missions stayed in space for up to 18 days. Axiom 4 lasted 19 days and returned on July 14, 2025. That extra day matters because it shows how better design and planning can allow longer missions. Living in space is hard. People need oxygen to breathe, water to drink, food to eat, and systems to stay alive. NASA's shuttle could only carry enough supplies for about two weeks, any longer, and there wasn't enough space to pack what was needed. Crew Dragon solves this with its better systems. It can stay connected to the International Space Station for up to 210 days. That is 15 times longer than the shuttle. How is this possible? It is because of smart design and technology. Crew Dragon has a system that controls air, temperature, and humidity. It uses sensors, software, and hardware to do this without needing help from the crew all the time. The system takes out carbon dioxide from the air and controls oxygen and nitrogen levels. It keeps the cabin comfortable and safe. And it does all this using fewer resources. The capsule uses special filters to remove carbon dioxide. These filters work for four people for 10 days. They are small and easy to change, which means the capsule doesn't need to carry too many of them. This saves space and weight. SpaceX tested this system many times with real people to make sure it works in space. NASA also checked it and said it was safe. When Crew Dragon is docked to the space station, it can use the station systems. That way, it saves its own supplies. It can even shut down parts of its systems to last longer. But it always stays ready to leave quickly if there is an emergency. Another smart feature is how the astronaut suits work. The suits connect to the life support system inside Crew Dragon. If something goes wrong, like a drop in pressure, the suits help keep the astronauts safe. They have backup systems for cooling and breathing. This adds another layer of safety. Besides the hardware, the reason for flying also matters. NASA's shuttle missions were short. They launched satellites, fixed space equipment like the Hubble telescope, and helped build the space station. These tasks did not need long missions. Axiom's missions are different. They focus on private astronauts staying longer on the space station. They work on science, education, and outreach. Axiom 4 carried out over 60 science experiments. That is the most ever on a private mission. The research covered many areas like health, farming, new materials, brain science, and space tools. Axiom 4 involves scientists from 31 countries and stayed in space longer than any shuttle mission, showing that private companies are now leading space exploration. Axiom plans to build its own space station starting in 2027. It will start with the launch of a special module that provides power, heat control, and places for experiments. This module is being made by an Italian company called Thales Alenia Space. This company has built other parts of the International Space Station before. Next, Axiom will add two living modules. These will house astronauts and space tourists. They will also build an airlock module so astronauts can go outside the station. The station will have places for science and making products in space, just like the International Space Station. This private station will be part of a new space race. China's Tiangong Space Station is growing. 
At the same time, private stations from the United States are getting ready to replace the International Space Station. NASA will retire the station around 2030, so private stations must be ready before then. The Axiom Station will first connect to the International Space Station in 2027. It will stay there while Axiom prepares the next module. This time, connected to the station will be used for practice and training. Axiom will move supplies and tools from the space station to its own module. This will help them be ready to work on their own when the International Space Station is gone. Once the first living module is launched, Axiom will separate and become its own station in 2028. Even with two modules, it can support four astronauts and operate on its own. Later, Axiom will add more modules. These will include another airlock, a second living space, and a new science lab. Each new part will have its own power and heat systems. The first living module will even have a robotic arm to help move things around and build more parts. But Axiom is not the only one. Blue Origin is also working on a private station called Orbital Reef. This project includes Blue Origin, Sierra Space, Boeing, and other companies. NASA already checked and approved the design idea in 2022. This means they can now work on building it. Orbital Reef will be big, almost as large as the International Space Station. It will hold up to 10 people. The station will have areas for living and for doing science. It will also have places for other spacecraft to visit and dock. Blue Origin says Orbital Reef will be like a business park in space. People and companies will be able to rent space and do work there. The station will support research, travel, and other projects. They want to make space easier to reach and use. Many types of customers can use Orbital Reef. These include space agencies, tech companies, and countries without their own space programs. Even media and travel companies might get involved. Blue Origin says they will offer everything needed, rides to space, help with hardware and services in space. They plan to use Boeing's Starliner spacecraft and Sierra Space's Dream Chaser to bring people and cargo to the station. But Starliner has had many delays, and Dream Chaser has not flown yet. Most of the orbital reef parts will be launched on Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, which has only flown once. NASA gave the orbital reef team $130 million to help them build the station. This money came from a program that supports private space stations. NASA wants at least one private station working before the International Space Station retires. Two other groups also got money from NASA. One is called Starlab, run by Nanorax. It got $160 million. The other is led by Northrop Grumman, which got $125 million. All three hope to have their stations ready around 2027. The future of space is changing fast. Axiom Mission 4 proved that private companies can do long, advanced missions. Now, these companies are building the stations of tomorrow. If they succeed, the next generation of space exploration will be led not just by governments, but by private teams working together with the whole world.